All right, 106.7 K Rock, K R Q. It's Winnie Rose. This is Jack Antnoff from Bleachers. How you doing? I am great. How are you? I'm good. Um, what was your day like today? Because it's pretty early. Uh, well, we played. Right. And it was one of my favorite shows in a while. And why is that? I uh, the crowd was great. It was just like the best crowd. Now we now I can hear a little bit better. I'm gonna wing it. Okay. Do I sound normal in you your headphones? Sound, you sound great right now. <laughs> okay, so it, it's one of the best crowds you've had in a while. Yeah, it was great. It's thanks to your band and yourself that got people here early. I was just talking to the crowd in front of us. It's like 90% capacity already here. For real? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's the dream. Um, so let's just talk basic questions. You probably answered a lot of these, but I'd like everybody to know, including myself and here at first hand. Um, bleachers, I don't like when people say side project. It's a real project. I hate the term side project. Side project feels like a way that people categorize things that aren't easy to categorize. It's like, why can't you just have two bands? Right. So Jack is in the band Fun, by the way. You guys know the band Fun, and you've played... You've been at Almost Acoustic Christmas with You're Fun. Sweet. <laughs> Have you played Weenie Roast with Fun? No, but um, we did the Christmas show. Right, and that was so good. Yeah. And so what was it and what is it that you're like, well, I mean, Fun took so much of your life and so much time, energy, effort. Like, oh, I'm going to do the side project bleachers. I'm I just said side you project. You just did it. <laughs> it wasn't planned. You, it's kind of like with writing songs, you never know when it's going to hit you. And actually, in many ways, making the bleachers album was under the most unideal circumstances. But I was on a world tour. Like, I Want to Get Better, for example, was recorded in Malaysia and Stockholm and New Zealand. It was, like, crazy that it all came together, but I just felt very compelled to make it. And I Want to Get Better. So you made it. You weren't in the country, and then all of a sudden, it's on the radio. It's on our station, K-Rock. Was yeah, that thank expected? You for that. Of course. You, no. I, you don't think about that when you're in the studio, because you can't. Like, you just think about... I feel like you only think about artistic success, and then you just hope for the best afterwards. But With it's the, the best feeling because the truth is, like, you want you want people to hear things. If you don't, if you didn't care, you'd make it for yourself. You wouldn't release it. But the nature of releasing music is you want it to be out there and play a part in culture. When I played his song, "I Want to Get Better" on the radio, I think I said uh, the very first time, I'm like, this song is so cool and so huge, and there's so many different things going on it all at once. It makes my head spin just thinking about the production of that song, and I want to nerd out musically a little took bit. Took a long time. It did take a yeah. long time making that song. Can you just uh, go off on that a little bit? It started with the that that bum 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 that piano thing. Like first, I just took a piano sound that I found in Malaysia, and I just pitched that and I made that. And first, I thought it was like a hip hop beat, and I was like, maybe I'll give it to a rapper, maybe that's what it is. And then I did the guitar solo. And I was like, no, this thing is alternative. And I started putting the beat. It just was a really long process of building and building and building. And then the whole album, Strange Desire, comes out July 15th, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the rest of the album similar to I Want to Get Better? I think it is lyrically. I think it is production-wise. Not in that it sounds like it, but in that it goes in all these different places. Very cool. And then here's just so you guys know, Jack put this phone number on Twitter. It's 888-920-1991. Uh, and you can call it and leave a message for Jack, or you can hear a snippet of another song. Yeah, there's songs, and there's also like a lot of strange stories. I left a really dirty message on there today, so check your messages. Great. I'll listen to it, and I'll you know do something weird <laughs> while I'm listening to <laughs> oh it. Oh, my God. Don't do <laughs> that, Jack. This is I Jack I might feel Antnuff. compelled to. <laughs> Good. All right. Jack Antnuff. He is from Bleachers. The new record is out of July 15th. Thank you for being here. Thanks for playing the show, man. Congrats on everything you've yeah, done. Thanks for playing the music so early. You we're just really ahead of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks. All right, that's Jack. I'm Striker. We are at the world-famous K-Rock Weenie Roast.